So how do you handle objections about time? This is a good one. This is one of the big ones. But we like this objection because that helps us understand exactly why they need USANA. What I like to find out from somebody when they say they don't have time is A, how important their dream or their why is to them. If you can evaluate that and get them back to their why and their vision for their life, you can lead them to realizing investing the time in this business, like you do actually have the time, you just have to reallocate it from other places. This objection, first, the way I'd handle it is I'd say, what do you think? Um, what are the expectations that you think we have for you in this USANA business? I tell people five to 10 hours a week is what's required of you if you want this business to work. Most start part-time. If you want to transition to full-time, you have that option. So set the expectation level at five to 10 hours a week. Everybody has five to 10 hours a week. Everybody. I don't care if it's waking up an extra half hour early and going to bed an extra half hour later, if it's maybe putting down the TV, perhaps getting off Facebook a little bit. We've got the time. If you want this to work, you can find five to 10 hours a week to make this business work. Instead of having to come up with some really great words of, you know, how do you handle the objection of time and say this or say that, just flat out look at them as sincerely as possible and just say, how does it make you feel? It's a socky kind of in your stomach type deal, that you, but you got to be sincere with it. And it takes a little bit of practice sometimes to, to really get this approach across properly. Where else in their life are they losing that time value? Are their kids not getting to see them? Is their, their community not seeing them? Is their spouse not seeing them? Is their church not seeing them? Are they not spending the time where they really want to be spending the time because they're locked in somewhere else for really probably maybe working with somebody that doesn't care about their time? We ask a little bit more questions, get a little deeper with them, and a lot of times they really start thinking, well, maybe this would free up my time. This would be something that I could use to leverage my time instead of feeling like they're spending more time doing it. Help them think about time leverage. What if you only did five hours and all these people did five hours? You have 145 right. hours happening in your business that week. And typically, you're only, what are you doing, 40 or 50 hours? And they say, yeah, 145, you, there's no way you could do this. So it helps them think out of the box and realize, wow, this is a team. Yes, this is exactly. something we all can do. The thing about this business is you do it in the cracks of your life. And you don't see it as something separate to your life. It is integrated into your life. So you're having conversations with people, you're enjoying your life, doing all kinds of fun activities, and guess what, you're meeting people. And as you hear what people really want, usually we have a match to something that we have and they want. So you just live your life. There isn't a, a difference between living your life and doing this business, and that's one of the beauties of the business.